Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Romeo and Julieta, Romeo number three. In the past, I reviewed the Romeo number two, and I believe that was a full interview. I also believe nothing here is focusing like usual. Um, the number three is the smallest of all of them. This is the number two, and this is the number one. I've had both of these before. The number one, I had one about. I think it was Christmas or it might be Christmas Eve last year. It's pretty um pretty good scar. Romeo two is pretty similar, but the Romeo three has a, a few differences. So let's see what that's like. Usual tube, aluminium cap and tube, red lid, cedar lining, the over there, <clears throat> and. It's actually kind of a little scar. It reminds me of a Trey Petit Corona. If you compare it to the Romeo 2 and then the Romeo 1, you can see by far the shortest, but it appears to be a little bit lighter. So let's have a look. If that's going to focus. Apparently, this is 40 ring gauge, I believe, and you're supposed to be 42. These are definitely 42, the Romeo 2 definitely is anyway, and I don't see any difference in this one. I would say it's probably 42. 40 is probably, you know, a little bit off as a measurement. So, this scar is kind of interesting because, you know, I've always wanted to have one, but it's probably going to be towards the quicker smoke kind of side. It smells pretty light. As I said, the wrapper is a little bit lighter. I'm expecting maybe a lighter taste. Out of Monte Cristo compared to Romeo and Giotta, I tend to focus on those two quite a bit, Monte Cristo being my favourite. These actually do tend to have a bit of a better, bit of stronger flavour indeed. So um, yeah, this one's going to play out quite well. I'm just going to get, you know, make sure I get my stopwatch ready this time. Because the uh, past few scars I've been forgetting and not knowing how long I smoked them. I don't really smell much, I mean... It smells like just kind of like a very light bland tobacco it's just you know the general smell you kind of get it's never um doesn't really indicate much of the taste of the scar the taste could be really anything it's more of a potency issue it's not very potent at all not really the uh, strength so it's a pretty nice looking foot that's probably the best i can say about it the wrapper looks actually pretty nice. The seam is definitely visible, but it's very tight. Construction looks good. There's no um, notches out of this or anything. A couple of things in the way of veins. Nothing that's going to cause a crisis. It's not a very rough wrapper. It's definitely put on there quite well. Bands, um, the band's loose, which is uh, quite useful. We'll leave that on for now, though. Quite a rigid cap. Doesn't feel too spongy. Feels um, quite firm. Mostly because of the wrapper though I would say. So I don't expect this to be a massively long smoke but I'm still going to do this in a segmented review. Uh, the cut we're going to prefer for this one is a B cut. So uh, let's do that now. Brush a little bit of loose tobacco out there, as per usual. And uh, pretty clean V cut. That plug looks like it's going to hold together decently well. I am not sure why the focus is just playing up today, but we're going to have to leave with it. Oh, that feels pretty loose. A lot of air flow in there. As for the taste, it just tastes pretty much like the Romeo 2. Maybe a little bit different. Maybe a little bit less. Not quite as strong. This is going to be one of those uh, pretty good Cuban ones. Leaning a bit more towards the peat than the earth in this one. So, uh, without spending 10 minutes straight on that, let's uh, see what it smokes like. Again, just going to do this facing the camera a bit more.
just so you can really see what I do. Turning it tends to be the best way I find. I tend to find to go a little bit more towards the side, a little bit down the side, and then burn right around the edge. It tends to give you basically the first couple millimeters just started already for you. Then focus on the center till it's glowing. Just blow in a little bit, make sure it's uh, firmly lit. And then pop on it with that. If you uh, notice my lighter stays on a little bit, that's because I just filled it with gas, it's pretty packed. So the taste of this. Lots of air coming right through there. Let's start the stopwatch before we forget. This definitely is a lot lighter than Romeo 2. The Romeo 2 I've had quite a lot of. Fits in hand pretty nicely. Romeo 2 being a little bit longer, I do think that feels a little bit better, but it's still nice to hold. It just feels like a daily smoke. Although the price doesn't. Very nutty. Quite light, sweet. Definitely really nutty. A little bit earth right at the back of the throat, but not too much in the palate. Not a little hint of peat. The thing with Cuban scars is, um, if you don't get a hold of many Cuban scars anyway, they don't tend to have any special flavors. You don't get like a citrusy flavor. Well, occasionally you do. That's probably the best you can get. But you don't really get, you know, a lot of cocoa added, you don't get stuff like that. It's the basic few, earthy, nutty, a little bit of peat, those kind of flavours, tends to always repeat themselves, just in uh, different strengths. It doesn't burn too much on Regio Hill. Not the strongest of all scars. Pretty light and quite pleasant. Again, not sponsored by Pepsi Max, but uh, if they would like to, they know my number. Well, they don't, but they know my Facebook page. <laughs> Gotta love Cherry Pepsi. Cherry Coke is pretty similar. The burn. Not fantastically even, but we see this happen generally when you start lighting it. If there's any problems, they tend to correct themselves out pretty well in a good constructed scar, so that's going to be something we see later on. Now you have to taste knife in the back of the throat. A little hint of earthiness, decent bit of pee in there I guess. Give or take something like that. I mean, that's probably the. Uh, that's pretty much everything I'm picking up on right now. So we'll definitely return. Maybe we'll get a little bit further in. Remember, this isn't a very big scar, so I don't expect it to last too long. So we are about 11 minutes, 20 seconds into this. It's going pretty good. The ash is looking pretty decent. Not quite a third into it yet, but the flavours are actually a little bit more full now. Not sure how well this ash is going to survive, but licks on there pretty strong. Some of the earthiness has come right around now. It's not all too nutty. I think the uh, nuttiness has really gone for a more potent earthiness. A little bit of peel and off the taste, but there's definitely I'm getting a bit into more earthy scar now. This is more what I'm used to with Romeo J. scars. I mean, they're all very good. 
definitely. But um, yeah, this one's starting to fall in with the rest, which is pretty good. Although, pace my chair always makes me burp, so if I do, don't mind that. Although I did quite enjoy the nice at the start. Definitely looking pretty good on the Astro. I mean, it is a little bit squint. The burn seems to have sorted itself out quite decently. I never trust this, because if this falls, my keyboard's fucked, basically. But, um, yeah, as you can see, that's where a little bit of a mark was. So it's not all pretty good. I'll be moving the band soon. So, yeah, about 30 minutes into this. I'll report back when we get a bit further, Dick. Um, further into it. So we are back with this and it's 23 minutes 21 seconds in. It's over halfway, the ash fell off, luckily landed mostly in the ash tree. Got to a decent length, a bit over an inch maybe, inch and a quarter. Taste is still going pretty good. Running out of Pepsi though. Uh, under the, I took the band off and under the band a little bit of a rip of a wrapper. Peeling up a little bit, not a big problem. Plugs staying together very well. If you don't know I smoke rather, um, I'm kind of like a wet smoker, there's definitely a lot of moisture gets into the plugs of these cigars. The glue tends to fall apart, bits go everywhere. But no problem with this one. Getting a little bit heftier on the smoke. This is maybe a 35 minute cigar, 35 40 minutes. Definitely looking more like that. Tastes definitely a little bit easier. Easier? Earthier. It's, um, with all Cuban cigars, right as you get towards the end, definitely picks up a lot of spice. That just is the characteristic that happens with these. And. Yeah, it's definitely going that way. It's more like a light earthy spice. The spice tends to make things taste a lot heavier than they are. The draw is pretty um, medium though. It's not very hot, but it's you know getting a bit towards the hot side. Definitely, after the first third, starts turning into a more medium to full bodied scarf rather than a uh, light to medium like the started like. This reminds me quite a bit of one of my daily scars, the La Flor de Cano Petit Corona. I believe in. Uh, next section will be right at the end of this. Also to mention the burn has for quite a while completely fixed itself. So we'll talk about the cigar right as we get to the end and make our conclusions. Okay so we're at the end of the cigar. Pretty pleasant. It's not actually too spicy I mean there's definitely a lot of spice kicking in there definitely some heat but it's not anything most people can handle. Definitely a little bit lighter than your average Romeo but it is definitely a quicker to smoke cigar. Well, it's sure. The quality doesn't seem to be sacrificed at all. Wrapper here sounds split apart, but it's actually not really giving many problems. We're pretty much at the nub. 39 minutes in. Let's say 40 minutes cigar. It's nice. The one thing we haven't covered quite is the price. And that is something that I've got. I had the link open and I somehow not got the link open. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, here we go. £10.50. It's kind of on the pricey side for a small score. If uh, you go for the Romeo 2, it's actually a little bit, probably a little bit more expensive, but it's probably worth the extra length you get on it. So I do think this is kind of pricey. You get an Inca Secret Blend, Actual Blue, Petit Corona for example, pretty similar, pretty similar scar. 
in terms of size, maybe a little bit bigger actually. Feels a bit bigger anyway. And it de definitely a bit cheaper, probably the same kind of um, light taste. So the exact specs, as I said, it apparently is two ring gauge less. It's only 40, not 42, but I don't really see that. It looks about the same as 42. Length, four and five eighths, not a five inch scar. I believe the Romeo 2 is five inches. Reviews in general seem pretty good. One one star review there. Four or five star reviews out of 33, so that's when you know it's going to be pretty good. Tube version, I, I always recommend the tube versions. I mean, you never... You never know if you like to carry them about. If you have a few tubes about the same size, then it's fine to not get the uh, tube versions. But if you don't, you should always get one or two tube scars of all different sizes to make sure you've always got one to carry your scars with if you need to. Even as a nub, I tend to leave them a lot less than this, but no, I'm actually pretty happy having out of this. Still going pretty good. A little bit spicy, a little bit earthy. It's on the horror side, lower body scar. You wouldn't be too happy if this was the whole thing, but you know, it's a nice, pleasant, sweet ending. There's a lot of people I know that prefer very spicy nubs of scars. Overall, I would say it's a bit on the pricey side, but it's definitely 8 9 out of 10 smoke. That's our region. So, I would uh, definitely recommend this. If it was a little bit cheaper, I would recommend it as a good daily. But it isn't. We're at near enough 42 minutes. Still going. But I'm going to put this down here. Smooth that out. So, yeah, I would definitely rate that pretty high. Um, yeah, I think you should try that one at least once. Maybe the Romeo 2, I would prefer over it simply because of value. Romeo 1, give or take, I would say Romeo 2 is pretty much a good middle ground. So if you enjoyed this review, don't get hit like. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer all the questions. And yeah, don't forget to like my Facebook page. Whenever I live stream, I tend to live stream all these scar reviews. You can go, you know, you'll get linked there whenever I do. I'll let you know. I post content there just for that. And also a lot of pictures of, you know, all the new stuff I get and all that. So uh, thanks for watching this review and goodbye.